Hello everyone and welcome back to Steel Division 2 Tournament. Today we're going to take a look at the game between um, Chicken Do and Yabo. So we have here... Um, wait a second guys. We have here Chicken Do using the 2nd Indian Infantry and we have Yabo using the 17 SS Panzer Grenadier with their their vehicle that goes at 100 km an hour so they'll be faster than anything the enemy can field and you can see uh, this allows him to take position real fast here <coughs> so there you have Yabo in the blue corner already has control of the town here he already has control of this and that before the enemy even arrives so that's gonna be real bad for the M1 gun here that's gonna get shot down and killed almost immediately most likely engineers might be able to make it though there is this spw233 mortars are being filled on the map there's two mortars here there's two mortar there there's another mortar coming in these are quite expensive they cost 40 bucks and uh, we'll see if they're effective here uh he just stays there for now same thing with the enemy i think his attention is a bit uh all over the place now and uh, not realizing his enemy would come that fast i think although he should know this deck because it's a very old deck uh people have been using this strategy for a while <coughs> now we have more mortar coming down these guys are getting shot to bits will the marauder be able to shoot he's aligning he's aligning he dies well that was a bummer and uh, you have the pack 40 here shooting with its uh, HE, I do believe. Yeah, right over this commander. Where is this commander going? Commander going here. Uh, it looks like he was coming from the side here. Uh, so that was probably a misclick or a game bug or something. Now the enemy has control over this. He's going to try to cross here, but he's going to get shot. And um, yeah shot from the side from everyone so that's gonna be extremely bad for him uh, he's definitely gonna lose the advantage uh here you got mortar that's gonna mortar this he is using field gendarmerie i don't know why probably became it because it came in trucks they have four mp uh 40 mp39 whatever these guns are mp40s so uh this is gonna help him uh you know capture flag and defending it a little bit uh, the 60 millimeter mortars aren't that great, I find. Like looking at them right now, they don't do a lot of suppression. But anyway, there's a flamer coming in uh, right here to kill this guy. There's a Sherman coming in as well. Sniper's taking position here. That's gonna stop infantry from moving forward. He lost town here pretty quickly. He's gonna try to come back with some rifles and a Sherman to capture this. Here is advance in town. He's gonna try to uh, dominate the forest, but it's gonna be quite hard for him. He does have mortars though, so that's gonna help him tremendously. Um, although against this, it's gonna be hard because he's got nothing anti-tank. Good smoke cover here. Now he can put some uh, mortar rounds on these guys and move in for the kills. Uh, nothing coming in. engineers coming in their half track they're gonna clear out this forest it's important when you get overwhelmed like that uh, you want to go little by little you don't want to run into this and lose you lose uh, ch take the chance of losing your units you want to go slowly methodically you have time anyway you know he's got 13 minutes there's gonna be round B in uh, five minutes or so although Yabo is using the Maverick income so it's only just gonna get better for him in phase B uh, Chicken Do really needs to wait until phase C to be able to put up a fight and uh, right now it's looking pretty grim. We're not gonna lie, it's looking grim. He's gonna bring the engineer here, uh, they could be destroying the flamethrowers but they won't have time to shoot their, their TNT, that's for sure. Fortunately there is a half track coming here. Oh, ouch, that hurts. No dedicated uh, AA right now on the ground. He's using his mortar methodically, which is great. Uh, hmm. He changed at the last second, but he should have kept it here. Down is a struggle. There's already one infantry dead. There's another that's going to die. 
Uh, these guys are throwing their grenades at a good distance. 100 meters, they... Well, anyway. At a good distance, these surrender. Pencil Strike is going to come in and kill that guy, I do imagine. Mortar is going to be the only thing holding up, and it's shooting at nothing. More rifles coming in here. Panzer Shrek is going to move in position. It is going to get the kill. I mean, let's not lie to each other here. Oh. Youch. Let's give the control to Yabo here. It is now 18-6. Uh, phase A for Yabo. Machine guns are doing their wonderful work here. They're gonna get suppressed by the machine by the mortars, but uh, not a lot. I guess they did get a kill here. We see the mortar 60 mm got a few kills from their rounds, but not a lot of suppression. I wonder if if uh, they're made like that or if it was just lucky shots. This guy is going to have a bad time advancing. He could advance with this guy, but he probably imagine there's an anti-tank uh, gun here by now. That's why he keeps these away from uh, from the road. There's more fights here. Kill the Panzer Shrek. That's always good. More tanks coming with rifles and engineers. Here he's finally going for town, I mean for uh, for uh, the forest, but he's got three recons coming in and no AT. Oh, well, there you go. You've got the Sherman that they're going to meet. Let's watch that encounter at close range. You can see the enemy right there. There you go, one down. These guys are not even fighting back over there. Two down. Is there a third one? I'm lost. Oh shit, we went far. Yeah, the third one uh, retreated from there. There's nothing you can do against that. Sherman's gonna stay here, I imagine, in case there's a uh, bazooka. 16-8 for Yabo. Still in uh, phase A. Uh, that's a great defensive position here and by great I mean there's a lot of stuff a bit everywhere there's a machine gun in the church that's gonna destroy everything that comes around here uh, supported by the stug 4 uh, pack 40 coming into oh it's gonna come here I thought it was gonna come and uh, reinforce the road here but nope why should it uh, there's already a tank here shooting so might as well Replace that tank by a pack 40 as soon as the pack 40 is in position probably this tank is going to go away That's what I would do uh, Bring another tank there. He's going to have complete control over this road and it's going to be too hard to come back I don't think chicken do is going to Come back from this uh, You know, he's never going to Conquer that now. There's a pack 40 here on the road already. There's one here. There's There's just so much guys. There's so much and reinforcement just keeps on coming. There's a martyr tree here. Excellent choice for a martyr tree right there. Another mortar came in. I wonder uh, how good these mortars are. He could have had supply trucks in phase A, but he doesn't, so now he has to spend it on another mortar. And they're not gonna be extremely effective. Uh, I guess they they might have almost killed these guys, or was that the Ashrak? Nope. Well. What killed that? Oh, the martyr, he moved. He made a move. Now these are gonna be useful. Two stars as well. So they're gonna shoot faster and they're gonna be more effective just overall. Let's look at the damage it caused. Yeah. Yeah, at this distance, they're pretty good. And then you wanna move your infantry and surrender them. Ugh, sorry guys tired here and there is uh there is this thing though that's gonna stop the advance so he was able to capture back the forest that's good i don't know where the tank died here he, he had a m4 uh this is gonna be impossible to keep 
we're just entered phase B, so now uh, Yabo is going to have a lot of reinforcement. Uh, we don't see any coming really, so maybe he's pending on planes. Uh, here we can see there's two M10 destroyers coming in. I guess it's a good choice. I don't know. I would have used a uh, AT guns. Maybe he doesn't have any. Because I think destroyers are pretty fragile and there could be some stoop, you know, hiding in here. They could be some stoop hiding in here. Here. He's still trying to contest town. It's going to be pretty hard. Uh, and then destroyers with the pack 40 here. He's retreating this guy. Transmission damage on the Stoop 4. So M gun might kill. Might get the kill. Uh, but what is this guy doing? Oh, so this guy's moving there now. Okay. 18 6 for, chicken, uh, for Yabo. Two minutes left to the game. Oh my god, look at all this reinforcement. So that's going to give him both these flags because there's nothing that's going to stop this now. Uh, so this kind of closed the game. I mean, we, we kind of knew Yabo would win, but there's as long as he has at least one flank, there's still a possibility of doing something. You know, he could have went and captured this flag, captured this flag maybe, going by the side here, make a big attack somehow. Um, but uh, with that coming in, forget about it. He's going to capture this. Oh, god lord, that hurts. He's going to catch through this. It's 19.5 now and the game's going to be over. Um, yeah. P47 going against the BF109 here. That's not a good uh, That's not a good thing here. That's a fighter bomber, so it's going to be quite slow. Okay, guys. Well, oh, M10 has already killed this here, but not without one went down. Another one coming here. One minute, we're just gonna advance that because at this point, there's no reason. Oh, it's gonna be 20. Let's just look, 24, and at this point, the enemy surrenders. Whew, chicken do. What have ye done? Oh, that hurts. That's hurt to see. Yabo is pretty good, though. Uh, Chicken Do, I don't think I remember playing against him. Obviously, he's a great fighter if he's playing against Yabo. Oh, they killed it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. Next game is going to be a bit more challenging. Uh, lasts a bit longer, so I think we're going to have most of the action there. So, I uh, hope to see you next game. I hope, hope you enjoyed the game. Goodbye.